Today, I'm going to talk to you as a theme under the direction of the ministry of the firstborn. I'm going to talk about not each, but grace. So, firstborn status, firstborn power, firstborn ability, firstborn prosperity and productivity, firstborn te spiritual technology, and technology is the harnessing of the forces revealed in science to bring about positive results, benefiting and beneficial results. So the word of God is the science of God's power, but the harnessing of the word of God in revelation and understanding is a spiritual technology, so to say, by which you make things happen. Glory to God. Glory to God. I say glory to God. What you don't apply does not apply. <laughs> what you don't apply, apply can never supply. Until you apply something, what that thing can brought, be brought to you cannot be supplied to you. So, we are talking about not it. It is about grace. The church is the fellowship of the firstborn. We will be reading this scripture for as long as we are in this curse of revelation in this direction. Hebrews chapter 12, and verse 22 to 24. Hebrews chapter 12, and verse 22 to 24. But you have come to Mount Zion. You have come to the city of the living God. You have come to the heavenly Jerusalem. You have come to innumerable company of angels. You have come to the general assembly. You have come to the church where everyone is, is firstborn. I love this. Today we're going to do some analysis of the firstborn experience from the New Testament in the Greek, Greek root of it in the New Testament. So you have come to the church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven. They are registered in heaven so they have heavenly coats. They can talk to heaven and heaven answers them. The scripture says they are registered in heaven. If you are in the church of the firstborn, if you are numbered among the firstborn in the general assembly of God, the ecclesia tetou, the church of God on earth, what actually happens is that you have, you have heavenly place. The scripture talks about we in Christ Jesus sitting in the heavenly place. So there is your heavenly place. Your heavenly place where there is no suffering there because there you are both principalities and power. Wherever Christ sits and whoever he is and whatever he does, the scripture says, with him you are lifted, raised and seated in the heavenly place far above principalities and power. This is just what this whole thing is about. That everything Christ is as the firstborn, a child of God is as a firstborn. The address of the Christ is the address of the Son on earth. So there is just one address for the Son of God, and that is at the right hand of the Father. So if you ask me, what is your address? Wow. It is not significant here. Maybe somewhere in Ibesipo or maybe somewhere in one of the spots here in New York. But that one is subject to debate. Google can put it either in Ibesipo or can put it in Aka or can put it in the other village of Uyo in one of their forts. But when it comes to my real, my real heavenly address and identity, that one is not debatable. Google does not understand that one. So if you put what is the address of Patrick Grace Henry, you will say check Facebook and you go to Facebook and they will give you wrong answer. <laughs> Man, I'm seated. And if you are God's child, God's son in the sun, crucified with him, raised with him, and seated with him in the heavenly places, that is your address. <laughs> so if you see yourself continually in a wretched place in a dream, that's error. <laughs> that's error. <laughs> that's error. If you see yourself consistently in the old places of your littleness, that too is error. <laughs> that too is error. 
is a short movie clip from Satan to deceive you and con confuse you and it's called dream manipulation. If you see yourself in, in some wretched, in some useless, little, tiny, small place, that is error. As long as you are a child of God, that's error. What is the correct thing? Seated with him. Say seated with him. That's what, that's what it is all about. So when the scripture says, the firstborn who are registered in heaven, the firstborn who are registered in heaven, they are those who are seated with him in the heavenly places. Or have space in the heavenly places. You know, those days that we used to have post office in Nigeria, and it's unfortunate that where computer started from, places like America, they say a post office. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we don't have post office, so our children don't understand what post office is. So those days we have to used to have private mail back. We, have, we used to have pigeonhole that you take your key and you go to the post office proudly if you don't have a house. At least you have a little small space in the post office and you open it and whether there is something or not, I used to check it very regular. <laughs> whether there is something or not, you just check it because it's a status issue. It's like I have someone who can write to me from anywhere. <laughs> Glory to God. So the whole thing is like whatever you see on earth, there is a heavenly, heavenly reality of it. So in the, in the heavenly place of God, the heavens of God, I'm not talking about the lower heavens, there's the heaven of the rain, the heavens the above of the element, then there is the, ele the hell level, I mean the heaven of the principalities and power, where Satan and all his forces, where they contend, uh, but there is the heaven of God, that's so far eternally above every other levels of heaven, and that's what Paul talks about, the third heaven, the heaven of heavens, the rulership of heaven, the aboveness of above, the highness of the height. Now, I'm talking about in that place, not in the heaven of rain. So if you see rain beating you in the dream, you can excuse what you saw in the night because that's not your destiny. And destiny, I don't know where I'm talking to somebody. Then there is in that heavenly place where you are seated with God in Christ Jesus, where your life hidden is hidden with Christ in God. I mean, in that heaven where your life is hidden with Christ, where? In God, in that place, you also have like a pigeonhole. And you can imagine what the pigeonhole of heaven is like. You can also have your own private mail back. I didn't invent this. Look at what the scripture says. It says the firstborn who are registered where? Not registered in GFCC. GFCC is an agency. Agency where people come to do their NIN of heaven. Praise God. <laughs> Woo, praise God. Praise God. There are people come to do their registration. Labro Secata. Where people come to do their incorporation. Malabracata. But as we do this, we upload them upon the website of heaven. Lea Sakata. Men they pray. Stand up and speak in the Holy Ghost. Lea Sata. So, what is it that can be called impossible? Unto somebody who has a space in the heavenly place, Lakata. Tell me, please tell me, what is the meaning of impossible for somebody who has a space in the place of God, who has a space in the heart of God, in the plan of God, who has a space in the throne of God, who has a space in the heaven of God? By the right hand of God, sir. The right, the, the son, the firstborn son is at the right hand. Every son is at the right hand, sir. No one sits at the left. <laughs> when you are begotten, your place is in the right hand. The right hand is power. Right hand, uko, 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 uko. That's why we say uko ke So the right hand is a place of might and power, sir. The right hand is the place of fellowship and acceptance. The firstborn sits at the right. Right hand, la kata la bresa kata. It's a la bro. I said the right hand is for you. So that's your space. That's your space. In Christ and with Christ, that's your space. So when you are born again, you are registered, and it's uploaded there that you come through this place, this agency. A lot of people get consumed and lost in the maze of the church. 
They are lost in the politics of the church and uh, church and churchiness. People are just lost in religion. I am not of this church. Uh, who told you that really matters? Uh, what matters is are you registered uh, in the heavenly place? Uh, so that is what this whole thing is about. I really pity those who worry about church uh, and all of that. As long as church is doing the official duty of church, getting people captured. Uh, for the heavenly uploading, getting people registered, getting people gotten, getting people taken out of darkness. For church is ecclesia, they called out. As long as the church is calling you out and has called you out of death, has called you out of sickness, has called you out of sin, has called you out of shame and disgrace. As long as the church has called you out, does it matter whether it is this name or that name? What matters is that through the instrumentality and agency of the church, you have been called from former things into heavenly things. You have been called from dead things into living life. You have been called from judgment and condemnation into salvation and transformation. That you have been called from baseness and carnality into the spiritual life of God. That is the essence of the church. And when the church does that, it is not important whether it is this congregation or that other assembly or that other denomination that is immaterial. The importance and the significance and the reason to be of church is the uploading of heaven, of, of data, of sons of men so that they become sons in the Lord. Am I communicating? And they have a place they are registered and when they are registered there, they are far above things that are far above. They are higher than things that are high. They are bigger than things that are bigger. And they sit with Christ and with the staff that was said of Judah that the staff shall not depart. And they sit there where the staff cannot depart. Where they rule in the midst of the enemy because a mighty roar is extended from Zion. And so then the wish of Christ in the lost prayer is fulfilled. Let it be done on earth. I see this. This is how we translate. This is the technology in the word of God that translates heavenly revelation and reality into the life that you live on earth. So at every point in time, you have to put your life on earth side by side, your life revealed in the word of God above the heaven. And just ask yourself, is my life going right now as it is in heaven? Because the goal of the gospel is to raise men in God, sons in God, who will do on earth as it is in heaven. So you can wake up and tell your body, Shh, straighten up, Shh, correct up, Shh, heal up. Shh. You can speak to your broken heart, Shh, heal up, because this is not how I am in the heavenly. I am not forsaken. <laughs> I am not lost. I am not abandoned. And the reason Jesus Christ said, I will send you the Holy Spirit itself so that you will not be an orphan. An orphan is one who is abandoned and forsaken, who is bereft of help without direction. So if you wake up in the midst of what you can call confusion, you can say, shh, this is an error. I am not confused. I am happy on earth as it is in heaven. Glory to God. I say, glory to God. Say, I am registered. Now, you can either lie by saying that or you just affirm the truth. How does it mean to be liar, to lie concerning this? You say, I'm registered, but your life is not the life of God that you are living. I am registered. You are not in a new life of God. You are not forgiven. You are not given the status of the life. You are not, you have not moved from death into life, from condemnation into justification. And you say you are saved, but your works do not reveal that. And your status and whatever you conform to, they do not reveal that. That is what makes you a liar. And the devil does something. He beats up those who lie. Like those guys who were casting out demons in Acts of Apostles. He said, you spirit, I cast you out by, this, by the name that, um, of Jesus that Paul is preaching about. The demons say, well, I actually understand what you mean. Except that you are lying. <laughs> 
because you have no fellowship with that name. That name does not correspond to who you are. He said, let's test it. If you stand me, I know I am lying. If you don't stand me, I know you are the one lying. And by the demon check, all of by the time the last check was done, they were all naked and running away. And all I'm saying is that if you say I'm registered, it is taken for granted you have come to the place. We are Jesus. Is your life where you are in the way, in the truth, and the life of God? Just lift up those two hands again. And before you say I'm registered, if there is sin to be taken away from you, confess it. Before you say I'm registered again, if there is reconciliation to be made with the Heavenly Father, go ahead. If there is peace to be restored, if there is salvation to be received, believing with your heart, he died for your sake. The father raised him up and confessing that his rising was for your sake. And you're just calling that name Jesus. This is what this whole thing is about. Because teaching you about the Christ who is not your way, your truth, and your life, Teaching you about the Jesus that is not your way, your truth, and the life can be an experience in spiritual vanity, in church vanity, talking sweet things that do not apply. Lord, let salvation come to somebody right now. Somebody who is in this place but not forgiven. Somebody who is in this place but not saved. Somebody who is in this place not redeemed. As somebody calls the name of Jesus in in repentance and submission let the blood apply and let salvation be imparted this is your work and it's not our work we only receive it by faith in jesus name amen be seated say before you sit raise your two, those two hands with confidence and shout i am registered patrick Grace Henry is the president, Grace Family Commonwealth of Champions. Worship with us every Sunday in any of our services, Rising Stars Assembly by 7 a.m. and Champions Family Assembly by 9 a.m. Earth Live on Planet 101.1 FM and Spectrum TV at 10 a.m. Every Thursday for World Power Encounter by 5 p.m. Venue Goshen, Kilometer 14, Wangiba Road, Ekamban Sukara, Uyo, Akwaibom State. Join our live streaming on Facebook, YouTube at Grace Family Outreach and on the Christ Radio app. You can become a part of this Grace Revolution by becoming a partner today. To all our partners and friends, we say thank you. For partnership, please call 0907-383-8742. For prayers, counseling, and inquiries, please call 0818-043-3225 or 0803-671-5303. Grace Family, raising champions from ordinary people.